I'm Terry M. West, also known as the hardest working horror author you have never heard of. So we're doing our second episode of the year. I'm trying to do at least one a month. This episode, I'm going to show you some pretty cool horror uh, gumball machine rings from like the 60s. They're pretty awesome. I've decided to start collecting them because they're small and, you know, easy to store. And, uh, you know, you're going to see some pretty cool ones. Um, and I'm also going to do a segment after that where I talk about um, horror grails, like the things that I'm chasing. I'm going to try to do that every episode and include at least two or three, you know, very cool items to close the episode out with. But before we get to all that, I have to take a pause for the cause. Yes, I have to pedal my wares because that's part of why I do this. So let the pedaling begin. Um, I'm happy to announce that I now have a pay hip store. It's uh, payhip.com backslash too much weird, which is my company. Now on this uh, website, I can offer digital items. So I can offer eBooks, I can offer, you know, video, audio, whatever I want. And you can go right in, pay with a, a, your PayPal, pay with a credit card and download to your heart's content. Now I have a, a, some freebies on there, including an exclusive freebie you can't get anywhere else. It's called Harem Blood Machine, a romance from the heart of hell. It's one of my older stories. It's been out of print for a while, so I punched it up, polished it, did a few revisions, and you can download it for absolutely free for a limited time. It's going to go up to, you know, the, the high, high, high price of a dollar eventually, but for now, you can get it for free. Also, I have two exclusives on there that you have to pay for. The first one I have up there is The Night Out. It's an extreme horror story. It's was uh, a finalist for a 1997 International Horror Guild Award for a short story. I mean, can you believe that? And um, it's been revamped, polished, revised. It's a lot more of a story now than it was even when it was nominated for an award. So it's up there. It's a dollar. It's You can only get it there. And I do have to warn you, though, it's extreme. I mean, there's a... There's like uh, dark themes, there's um, gratuitous violence, and pretty graphic sexual content. So, you know, if that kind of stuff, uh, you know, bugs you out, then please don't, don't buy it, okay? And uh, another one I have up there that you can only get there, only in ebook form right now, is uh, What Price Gory? The, uh, the Illustrated Edition, which was one that came out a few years ago, and um, I currently don't have it up anywhere, but I do have, you know, a, a PDF on it that I'm offering for two bucks. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty sick, slick looking uh, book. And, you know, hey, what price gory? It's the collection that put me on the horror map. So if you've never read it or if you even if you've read it, but you would like to have a, you know, really cool, nice um, illustrated edition, you know, go in and spend two bucks. Why don't you? And um, okay, and that's it. You can get to that pay hip store at the link below, or you can go to, to my main site, terrymwest.com, too much weird.com. It's the same thing, really. And uh, there's a big banner, you know, takes you right to it. All right, so now let's talk about horror rings. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold these to the camera, and uh, they're gonna be hard to see. So I'm gonna be running pictures you know, alongside them so you can check them out. But I'm going to show you my box. So far I have seven. I want to fill this up. Now, I love, I love gumball horror rings. I mean, I, just so much, so much. Um, they're easy to collect. They're um, easy to store, you know. And if you see here, I have three flicker rings. I have a King Kong ring. I have a Frankenstein ring next to that that's, pretty darn rare from what I can tell. I have that kind of silly, goofy uh, white skull ring, and I have Morticia Adams. And like I said, I'm going to show you these uh, bit by bit. First thing I'm going to show you are my flicker rings. I'm going to pop them up here. Uh, these are really cool things. They're those uh, lenticular rings. You know, you turn them at an angle and they change faces. And those go back to the 60s. Uh, next to them is a King Kong ring. Now, this King Kong ring was something that you would win, like at, like say, a carnival at like Games of Chance. They'd have them in little plastic baggies, you know. And they said uh, 1962 w was the packaging that that was associated with this one. Maybe to capitalize on Godzilla Kong. I don't know. Uh, now the one next to it, that's the one that's pretty cool. It's a 
It's a Frankenstein ring, and if you look close, you can see it. It's the only one I've ever seen. It, it, I, I stared at it for months. I researched it. No one else had it. It was a little bit on the expensive side, but I got it because where else was I going to get it? Uh, the one next to that is that kind of silly skull ring. It's like a novelty ring. It's like a five bucks was what I paid for it. And I just, I liked it. I thought it was cool. And I wanted to take up some space in my ring box here. Now, the, the last one is Morticia Adams. Um, they did like the Adams family in a vending, uh, you know, vending machine rings. And they're, uh, I want to get the whole entire series. I think, I know there's an Uncle Fester. And I think there are a couple of other ones, but. You know, I'm looking for them. I'd love to get them someday. So those are my ring collections. Now, some of these, um, you know, rings that, that you can get online, uh, like at eBay or, or what have you, they go for hundreds of dollars, man. There's some like Universal Monsters rings from the 60s. Right, with Frankenstein, like three or 400 bucks. I mean, they're pretty hard to get. Um, but like I said, what I like about them, for the most part, the price point, it's pretty decent. And, uh, you know, like I said, I hope to, to fill this up very, very soon. And, um, you know, if you're walking by a vending machine, I think they're 50 cents now, more than 25 cents. And you see some little horror toys in there. I mean, go for it. Because, I mean, these in the 60s, these are probably a penny or a nickel. And look at them now, you know, worth much more than that. So keep your eyes open for that. So we're going to take a little break here. I'm going to show you a, um, a book trailer. For my series night things came out pretty pretty cool and slick um it's done in the vibe of like a 90s uh television show and um you know i've been given a big push to night things lately and i'm gonna have some big announcements about that series in march including a pretty cool project tied to it so we're gonna watch that we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about horror grails see you then Okay, welcome back. Now I'm going to uh, talk about those horror grails and I'm going to pop them up next to me so you can get a picture of them. I've actually been sharing them on my uh, uh, TikTok uh, account, you know, and, and a lot of people are having fun with those. First one I want to talk to you about, it's a, uh, it's a Stephen pinball machine. It's from the, uh, I think, either the late 60s or early 70s. But man, this is, uh, the picture here is one packaged. But just getting them loose can be up to a hundred bucks getting packaged i can't imagine i haven't seen a price on it but it's a um it's a little pinball machine called a uh, gruesome mansion and when i first saw it i thought it was like homemade i didn't think it was real and i, I passed on getting one and oh man i regret it now these things are awesome they look very cool um they're they're getting up there as far as uh you know you can get like a loose one from 50 to like 100 bucks i mean it's pretty crazy on them, but love the I love the artwork on them. I love the, I would love to get one in packaging, although that might be more of a four or five hundred dollar venture. But yeah, very cool, and um, you know one of those things I didn't uh, pull the trigger on, and I regret it now because I wish I were showing it to you. Okay, and the next thing is this 1962 Ideal Haunted House game. Man, this thing is awesome. It's it's very, very, very cool. I'd love to get one in the box. From what I can tell, um, it has to do with uh, the back of the mansion is open and you do little clues and everything and, you know, um, you go through the house. I don't know I don't know exactly how it works. And honestly, if I bought it, I probably wouldn't even open it. <laughs> I would just want to have it and stare at it in the box. But it's definitely up there, definitely something I'd love to get my hands on. And I'm not going to get my hands on it for any less than 200 bucks, and that's probably missing pieces of the game. 
Okay, man. This thing right here, my gosh, from the 60s, it's called, um, it's the Horror House Target Set. Man, I've seen this a few times online again. Really, really difficult to get your hands on. I saw one that was uh, sealed, still sealed. I'm, I'm going to include a picture of it here. Oh, I can only imagine. I think it was like six, seven, eight hundred bucks. But it's so cool. It comes with these little plastic figures. And the plastic figures are pretty common. You can get those, like, you know, Dracula, Witch. Um, you've seen them around if you've, like, hunted any, you know, vintage Halloween figures. Um, and they're the targets. And you have this little, you have the little pistol with the little, you know, balls in it. And you just boom, 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 knock them down. You know, and man, would love to get my hands on it. I might have even had that as a kid. Um, I have vague memories of it, or that was just wishful, dreamful thinking. I don't know. And the last item I'm going to show you, and it, believe it or not, it contains those same plastic figures from the Horror House Target set. It was the Horror Monsters Grab Bag, and it was a little like a, it was a five cent grab bag you could get in, a, in candy stores. And it came with a couple of toys. It came with a, a piece of candy. And they're incredibly, incredibly hard to find these days. And, you know, just the empty packages, you can spend 50, 60 bucks. But the sealed ones, a couple of hundred bucks, easy. So, okay, that's all I'm going to uh, discuss. Uh, we'll have more of those next episode. And, uh, you know, again, if you want to support me, you want to support this, uh, go to terrymwest.com. Go to night-things.com, and now you can go to payhip.com backslash too much weird. And don't worry, I'm going to have all that below me here, so you can make a note of it, what have you. Um, so that's it. So um, welcome to February. We'll be uh, hitting spring here pretty soon, and I could use the warmth. So until next time, remember, horror collectibles can be a scary business.